the Sneaky Linux back again today for just another Sneaky Quickie to go back on what I said yesterday, Sneaky Quickie, right? Now, you all know what I said about installing stuff in VirtualBox, doing video views, blah, 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 blah. I've had quite a few personal replies on this one. Right, I'm going to generalise this. <clears throat> I will say this only once for the time being and won't do it again. But I probably will do it when I, when I have a moan, but you can't get the right experience <clears throat> on a major distro if you're just going to do the live CD. It just doesn't work like that, okay? That's just It's my personal opinion, but it doesn't work like that. That is how it is. End of story, really. You do need to get decent audio. The reason I'm telling you this, when I first started doing this five years ago, right, I had a crappy microphone, I was rubbish at it, but I've gone on and kept on and kept on and kept on doing it. But nobody actually helped me do anything. I've had to do it all on my own. So this is just saying to you guys that are starting out doing it, so some brand new guys have started doing video reviews, get yourself a nice, decent microphone, do do your audio properly. Don't just put it straight up. Run it through Audacity or any audio stuff. Get it all nice. Get all the nice hisses out of the way and all the jumps and everything. And lovely jubbly. Screen resolution, right. 6040 is no good, is it? 6040 is no good. No, 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 no. no. It has to be proper full screen. Got to be done. Anyway, that's that out of the way for all you new guys. Yes, if you're going to do it, take it out of my pocket. That's how you do it. Don't wait for years and years and years of going on and on and on. And then just, you know... You end up giving up. You don't want to do it really. Yet. If you're really into what you want to do with Linux or whatever distribution you use, Mac or whatever, you really want to do it properly. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say on that matter. Right. That's a bit out of the way. Thank you very much. Right. Anyway, oh yeah, about VirtualBox. Yeah, I use it all the time. Yeah, all the time. But you also must put it on a real machine. If you're going to test it, yes, yeah, fine. Put it on VirtualBox. Yeah, should do it. I mean, I'll open mine up now. I'll show you what I've got going down. In my VirtualBox, I have three machines at the moment. Mint 13KD, which I've just done, so you'll see that one in a bit as well. Mac Pup I always put on here. It's always on here for when John does some new stuff. Oh, it goes straight in there, so I can test it first before I put it on the other machine, which is on a USB key. And i also got a, a Zubuntu 1204 on here just for compiling and the stuff and testing new uh, programs out. Because sometimes your new stuff does break things. It sure does. Oakley doakley. Yes, lovely. Right, that's my virtual box out of the way, okay? Right, a couple of things we're going to go on about, just for a little while, it's only about another minute or so. <clears throat> I'll open up the Fox, right? Somebody asked me if, if I could compile Mumble for them. In, in MacPup, by the way. I'm having a bit of a problem at the moment, so I'm going to try the stable development this time, and not the developer snapshot. So I'm going for stable, and see if I can get it working that way. I mean, there is a pet for it, but apparently it doesn't actually work. Alternatively, you could get it from the Ubuntu repos, because it's for MacPup. Yeah, can you understand me? Because it's 528, isn't it? And you should be able to get it, the dev file installed that way. So that'd be okay, wouldn't it? Also coming down this week is Chakra. 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 Um, 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 yes. Chakra. Yes. We'll be seeing that either tonight or tomorrow. I've, I've got it going down on a real machine at the moment. It, uh, Chakra does work better on a real machine than it does in the box. I'll tell you that straight away here. Yeah. There's a complete difference. But if you just want to check it out, chuck it on the box. No problemo. Also, SourceForce. <clears throat> I don't know if a lot of you know, a lot of distros are hosted here. But not only distros, every th program you can think of is hosted here. It's like the SMU ME. It's a Nintendo DS emulator. There's loads and loads and loads of stuff. You can just go and check it out. So if I just go to games, for instance. <coughs> Excuse me. Some will be in deb file format. Some will be a tar file. Okay. So you'd have to compile them. But if you're using a Debian format, no problem at all, is it really? I mean, look. Loads here, loads and loads. Oh, mumbles here as well, blimey. Who'd have thought it? Yeah. And I can go down here, blah, 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 blah. Stellariums here, clay soldiers. Oh, clay soldiers. Mmm, the Minecraft modification. And loads of other stuff going down, tax paint. Most of these will be in your repos anyway, but if they're not, you can compile them yourself. Yes, it's easy peasy. Anybody can do it. Zero AD. I used it about a year ago, so I might give that another check out. See if it's changed, actually. That'd be rather good, wouldn't it? Yeah, super duper. Anyway. That's that, away. Yes, I'll close all tabs. Don't keep them. That's the last of the sneaky, 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 sneaky quickie for the time being. I'll see you later. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.